All right, so the wife and I, we're getting inside the car. We're gonna head out to see this Cougar fifth wheel at a dealership in Placerville, California. So we're gonna see how that goes. We have arrived at AMS Wholesale and we're gonna check out this Cougar fifth wheel. Yeah, we came to come see the Cougar. Okay. Thanks. All right, some of the things that I'm looking for in this Cougar are gonna be like water damage, uh, especially for the price they have it at. This is actually a very good product. So it's a 369BH fifth wheel, and it looks like it has two air conditioners, but right now I'm really looking for water damage. I'm looking for mold, mildew. Those are things I'm first looking at. So I'm gonna treat this as if I'm a dealer taking it on trade. It's in kind of rough condition in some respects. Here, I'll give you guys some examples. I don't see any water damage. That's just somebody beat that up. Somebody, somebody kind of abused this. Lots of lot of closet storage, lots of drawer storage. Just something that like Keystone did really, really well. Never understood why they stopped making this model. You know that? I never figured that out. Oh, the bunk bed room is beat to hell, but the Furniture seems like it's in pretty good shape. No, you can't do any of that. So and this is propane electric. Of course it'll bug inside there. Look at that. Huh? <laughs> they know you know you're in the outdoors. How are you? I like the size of the fridge. Yeah, and that's gas propane. So if the pro, let's say we have a power outage, it'll run on the propane. There's no, there's no walkway, there's no, walking no walking space at all. Man, it's pretty and I like the one and a half bathroom, but this is more like just camping. Yeah. Like if you're thinking about living in a place like this for a few months, 
Where you guys end up killing each other? <laughs> Hop on up there. Wow. Holy crap. This is like a dealer's nightmare. Yeah, no. They're trying to clean it up though. Ah, run away, run away. Walls are super dirty, and it's it's only three years old. You can tell like somebody really, really just kind of beat it up. It needs a lot of love. There are a lot of amazing things about this fifth wheel, but you can tell that this was lived in pretty roughly. And talking to uh, the guy who manages the place and owns the dealership, this was actually a buyback from the bank, and so you could tell like why it's priced very low. And cosmetically, it's pretty beat up. Not example, just something needs to be TLC'd a little bit, see? You can just tell the people, whoever owned this prior and gave it back to the bank, um, they were, uh, <laughs> They were living in it for a little bit. The good news is I don't smell any cigarette smoke. All this is just cosmetic stuff. And, and reality is, is we could fix this little stuff up, but you know, over time. Um, the good news is it seems like everything works. But, oh, look at the wife found. Um, yeah. That's easy. That's just glue, it needs to be glued. They're just like, they open close perfectly fine, but they have this damage here. Mm. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're, I mean, it's on the price like this. Look at this. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get the floor plan that probably works the best for us. Two girls, my wife, me, Oregon. It's pretty. It has possibilities, I think. Yeah? Yeah. Do you see yourself living here for a few months? Well, I don't think we really have a choice, but I mean, I've done it before and, and most of the time we're going to be outside. You know, we're going to be, uh, the, I mean, literally the only time I came in the fifth wheel and when I was at Barber was sleep, cook something, watch a little TV. Most of the time I was not inside the fifth wheel. Right, but I mean, we have kids, the girls have, they have to do their homework. And then either we're gonna be buried in snow or attacked by bears. So we're gonna have to have a hiding place. Well, we have a hiding place. It looks good. I mean, it's it's cosmetically it needs some love, but it's priced right. And it's not as damaged. I mean, well, the good news is there's no sign of water damage. When I first started seeing a lot of this uh, damage above the bed and stuff, I started going, "Oh no, what what kind of mold and mildew now?" But then I look on the roof and nothing on the roof. It just seemed like whoever lived in it lived in it for a short time and then gave it back to the bank. I mean, they owed a $65,000 balance on it, which means they didn't put any money down. Yeah. 